Aloha! Olora Keya Avelina Mai Ika YouTube channel Ke Aloha no Hawaii. Hello, this is Laura and welcome to my YouTube channel Ke Aloha no Hawaii. In this video, we are continuing our lesson on personal pronouns, na papani. We'll look at the plural personal pronouns. If you missed a lesson on the singular personal pronouns, I, you, and he or she, click the link in the description below. Okay, let's start by reviewing the plural personal pronouns in English. How about our first person, plural personal pronoun? We. And our second person, plural personal pronoun? <laughs> yeah, in English, it's just going to be you. Well, unless you're in the South, you might say y'all. How about our third person, plural personal pronoun? They. Okay. Before we learn the Hawaiian words for those, I need to talk about two big differences between the Hawaiian language and the English language. First, there is going to be a difference in the pronouns depending on whether or not you're talking about just two people or talking about three or more people. So say you're talking about Mary and Bob, they read. That word for they in Hawaiian it's going to be different than if you were talking about Mary, Bob, and John. They read. While in English, we just have two categories. Singular, when we're talking about just one person, and plural, when we're talking about two or more people. In Hawaiian, we're going to have three categories. Singular, when talking about one person. Dual, when talking about just two people and plural when you're talking about three or more people. What about the other big difference? Well, that's going to be related to the English word we. Say you were talking to your friend Mary, and you said, hey Mary, we go to the beach. Who does we include? Well, we is going to include the speaker, right? But does we include Mary? It's hard to tell by just a sentence, we go to the beach. But you could say, hey Mary, you and I, we go to the beach. In that case, it's clear that we does include Mary. But you could also say, hey Mary, Bob and I, we go to the beach. In that case, we doesn't include Mary. Well, in Hawaiian, it's a lot more clear because there's a different word for we, whether or not it includes the person we're speaking to. <laughs> and in grammar, when we includes the person you are speaking to, it is known as we inclusive. And when we does not include the person you're speaking to or excludes the person you're speaking to, it is known as we exclusive. That's right. We'll use we inclusive when we are including the person we are speaking to, and we exclusive when we are excluding or not including the person that we're speaking to. Okay, I'm glad we took the time to talk about those big differences because while in English, we just have three plural personal pronouns, we, you or you all, and they, in Hawaiian, we're gonna have eight. Now, let's learn these personal pronouns. We'll start with our dual personal pronouns. So just talking about two people. How about we inclusive, you and I? Kawa, kawa. We exclusive, so me and another person, but not you. Maua, Maua, you too, Olua, Olua, and they or those two, Laua, Laua. Did you notice a pattern there? That's right, we inclusive we exclusive, and they all look very similar. They just have a different first letter. K, 
Kawa Moa Loa And of course you Olu is just its own thing. Okay. Now let's review the plural personal pronouns. Remember, this is going to be three or more people. Let's start again with we inclusive. So it includes the person we're speaking to. Kako. Kako. And can you guess what we exclusive is? Mako. Mako. That's right, same pattern as the dual personal pronouns. So let's skip to they. Yep, la ko, la ko. And we'll go back to you or you all. O ko, o ko. And did you know that olua and o ko both start with the okina? Keep that in mind when forming full sentences. Whew. Let's review those one more time. And let's look at them in a chart. We'll start once again with our dual pronouns. We inclusive. Kawa. Kawa. We exclusive. Mawa. Mawa. Let's skip to they, lawa, lawa. And how about going back to you? Olua, olua. Okay, let's do our plural personal pronouns. We inclusive, kako, kako. We exclusive, Mako, Mako. And again, let's skip to they. Lako, Lako. And back to you or you all. Oko, Oko. Okay. Should we hold a ma ma? Should we practice? Let's use the word for work. Hana. And let's say you're talking to your friend, Mary. Hey Mary, Bob and John, they work. Bob and John, they work. Hana Lawa, Hana Lawa. Hey Mary, Bob, John, and Amy, they work. Bob, John, and Amy, they work. Hana la ko. Hana la ko. Hey Mary, you and I, we work. You and I, we work. Hana kawa. Hana kawa. Hey Mary, Bob and I, we work. Bob and I, we work. Hana Mawa. Hana Mawa. Hey Mary, you and Bob, you two work. Hana Olua. Hana Olua. Hey Mary, you, Bob, and Amy. You work. You, Bob, and Amy, you work. Hana Oko. Hana Oko. Okay, how about, hey Mary, John, Amy, and I, we three work. Hana Mako. Hana Mako. And finally, hey Mary, Bob, John, Amy, you and I, we all work. 
Hana Kako. Hana Kako. How was that? My Kailoa, very good. So how about you Ho'oma Ama'a, you practice at home by thinking about the things that various people do. They cook, we clean. Remember, you can use an online dictionary to look up any words that you don't know. Well, mahalo nui, thank you so much once again for joining me. If you liked this video, please click that thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you wanna know when new videos are released, click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, ahoy ho!